Yo yo. So we are back with some dwarfs today as well. Um I think we were what were we doing? We started fighting rats, didn't we, right? Yeah. Armed and ready. We started fighting moors. The inland summons. But yeah, we did actually have some bros coming here too. How you doing, Usma? Welcome, welcome. What's that? That looks so much like Esther's emotes. The, uh... The hug one there. Holy shit, that it looks so much like the uh, emotes Esther usually uses. I don't think... It, it's not from the same channel, though. It's not from the same channel. Uh, so we have some cleansing to do. And some rats. Also, we had the offline sub, too. Give a shout out to that guy, at least. Hello, also Raptor, I think. 87. Thank you for the prime. It's actually not that long ago, 16 minutes pre-stream. Pre what were we doing? What are we waiting for? This is such a gambling area still, I have no walls or anything. I don't know if I want to invest here more or not. It's such a gambly. Oh, Belagar. Oh yeah, we we're getting Belagar's army up. Did we roll a good engineer, by the way, by any chance? Did not roll a good engineer. Do you want to spend some money rolling a couple Master of engineers? Send me to vengeance. So we have hey. your replacements here. The runes are cast. We have your replacements here. Got. Got. So we want to go over that. We'll remove the jar bomber. And King acts. I don't know, maybe we just march in. Do we have a quest battle, maybe? I still want to fix this army a little bit more. I want more hammers, but I don't know if I want to sit still for much longer. We should build this too. Get it under the near cap going. Yeah, let's uh, see if we can roll some dudes. I do want to get one of these two, but I really, really don't like a lot of these. You know what? Since I'm going to roll anyway, I might as well just recruit that thing here, right? Because it gives cheaper construction. Then we build it. Saved 900 there. This is going to roll him anyway. Smart, smart, smart. And then... I do not. Then we roll an engineer. I want a disciplined engineer game. That's what I want. What else? I do actually really want to upgrade this area. Belagar um, is poor. Very, very poor. Did you actually take this from the rats? You might have. The throng is okay. A hero. Got them. The mighty, you say? Mighty Thane of the campaign map. You're a good guy now? Oh my god. The hell at the good guy? Uh, I think we're starting off with growth here, right? Black Crag still needs some attention. Do we have one quest battle left? I want to say I have one quest battle left, right? Yeah, we have the Great Book of Grudges to get to, so we have one more to get. Gene seen the Heritage Armor. I don't know if I'm ever gonna start that game up again. I'm fairly sure I never will. It's probably a last last ditch effort there. Dragonflights. Fetch the brewmaster. But no, I haven't even gotten any Heritage Armor, to be fair, on any character I think. 
can we... Do we have enough movement to pop over here? We should, right? On to vengeance. Like this, this doesn't seem unreasonable to go over here. Also prepare meds for all the grudges that need to be scratched out. We've been scratching out grudges. This is probably a pretty nasty grudge to do. When we confederate the Belagar, we got a grudge on a Skaven Lord. I was kind of hoping he would just die on his own because it actually clears the grudge. But uh, other than that, we're actually fairly good on grudges. It's a scryer. We have Clan Morse and uh, take back the city from them. Plus, we also need to raid the Skaven. Yeah. We do need to raid the Skaven. Yes. It would kind of work doing it here. It would be nice if the legendary lords got knocked out, you would rescue them. There's a mod for that if you actually want to do that. Uh, like, you get a little event and confederate them. I don't know if you ever played with it. Or recruit legendary lords mod. But yeah, that's basically what it does. Uh, if you actually want to do that. You like this expansion? I, I think they've actually been f doing fairly good, it's just that I think the only thing I liked playing was Mythic Plus and it's kind of pretty bad from what I heard. Uh, really. And I haven't played in that long. It, it was pretty fun, but um, not really. Super interesting and in doing it more. Never really mucked with mods before. It's super easy though. Like I, I, I usually go into mods a little bit when I'm done. Like I do feel like the mod I'm currently using is kind of needed though, because I feel like lightning, or not lightning, lighting, is uh, very bad on some maps, especially the snow maps, right? So that's the mod I have currently installed. You can see in the little corner here, if it's a little white pixel in the furthest left corner, that means the mod's installed. Um, and I have a lightning uh, mod, uh, light lighting mod installed. That uh, So you can actually watch the snow maps without getting blinded. But it's like overall pretty... Like it kind of changes lightning in... Uh, a lot of areas to look a little bit better, in my opinion. That's the only one I have right now, but uh, there are some really good mods. There's definitely some really good mods. What were we researching? Iron mines, gold mines, three turns. Sure, we can get some more armor. Okay, so we'll take out Voltoya Sorrow. Oh, I was supposed to build this too. It's a thousand. Browns usually had a lot of money, right? Yeah, it's going pretty good Friends too. Friends of the Empire, yeah. come. Mm. Yeah, there's some really good for that too, like uh, overall. Yes. Thank you. It's actually good that France is finally actually not getting murdered. I don't think I've seen a campaign in a long while where France did not get murdered. Like, basically instantly. It's actually nice. I'm so surprised, by the way, that we have had two fixes within a week. I don't know if I've ever seen that happen before. Um, like, I wonder if I've actually taken something into it. Yeah, it's crazy. There's a hot fix today to fix the maps, the bugged maps we found. So they fixed the Chaos map that Legend posted. They fixed uh, Brayherd stone maps. That was um, super bugged for the AI. And they fixed the map we found. Uh, where like half the ground is like the interception battle underground. 
where half the map was kind of covered. So... It's kind of nice. Okay, let's sit in the uh, in, uh, in march downs here. Do yeah, I want to actually run? Nah, no, fuck it. It's just uh, sit in march downs. We haven't triggered that yet, and then we just on the way down. Or we could just march, I guess. Yeah, let's just march down. We're almost at Iron Rock anyway. Mm. Mm. I definitely hope they kind of get like a wake up, wake up call from this now. Because I want the game to be good. I want them to fix it. Like, yeah, this has been my game for like, you know, basically half of Warhammer 2 or early Warhammer 2. It's been my game that I always went to. Played a little bit. Had some fun. I've been playing it for so long. But they've been mishandling it so bad since Warhammer 3. Hmm. I don't think we can do any more this turn. Rudge removed! Hmm. They have been kind of abandoning, like, this is... They've done, like, stuff like this in the past and never really fixed too many bugs, though, but... I definitely... Hope at some point... It will actually get... get put some resources into it. It feels good having France actually being, like... It kind of makes our campaign definitely easier, but it feels good having France actually doing stuff. Did they take that city, by the way? Just want to know. No, they just sacked it. No, they didn't actually attack. No, they didn't, didn't attack. Even though they have the those guys here. So I want to snag. We're gonna we're gonna fail on Spite Peak here, I think. But this is the region we really want. So worst case scenario, we trade this for this if Imric takes it. Like, we're gonna be... we only have one army down here, so it's gonna be fairly slow. If you say so, beardling. My anger Eight peaks. So oh, we can get a wall straight away. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's see, gold mine is fairly valuable. So it's that. Uh, we do a wall already. What would we like here? Do I need runesmiths? I might need runesmiths. I do have two growth, so if I can get slightly more money, I could probably start upgrading Krog Dwarren. We can get lumber here. So, yeah, Krog Dwarren might be the play. Can I get some more money this turn? No. No. Oh, nice. Okay, there's more potential money here too, which is good. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have a pretty good economy once we got this uh, going. One rug. What? Virgin boats. Ah, that is a green. That's empty. It is agreed. 
So, so the game wants us to take both of these. No, that's just Clan Morse, right? Yeah, that's just Clan Morse. I do want to upgrade Black Crag. Anybody else is actually rich? We begged from Franz last turn, so I, I don't know if I we can. Some kill me a kid. You are so you poor. I wonder why you're head. so poor. Four hundred. That's not enough for it. Okay, golden order. But you're. Pr oh wait, Brandon's you might actually be pretty rich, right? Better. No, you're not 3k. It's not even that much. But you are willing to give me some, so... Oh, yeah. What are you willing to give me? That's a lot of money. Okay, 1800. That's uh, That should be enough, though. This will be masterful. Should be enough to start upgrading, so we can we don't waste our growth. Okay, Krogdorn. Could even upgrade the Toolmaker here, too. Or Raditz. I like that we're making like we're definitely not making bad money here. It's just that <laughs> we are we need so much money. Same time. This time. Oh fuck! I should have checked uh, rolling. Let's see what we're looking for. We got a Grimnir. Uh, we actually got no engineers, so we rolled plus we didn't get a new one. So I guess we don't need to do that right now. Things I would like to roll. Hmm. That's it, throw bearers. You have no army. Nasty thing. No, they do have an army. They do have an army. They're 50-50 with us. So know where they are. So you probably have Desolation. And then you have these three here, plus these three. And something more. Meet me in battle. Lioness and Munfred. Like, Versa gets so freaking ripe for picking, it's sad. How you doing, Pekka? Welcome, welcome. What brings you to the Thoric? Uh, you kind of have the same enemies as we have. Let's see what we uh, can get for this military access and an aggression. Yeah, it's a good deal. They raced it. Okay. I am actually going to be recruiting on uh, Belagar. So. Okay. Do we start rolling heroes first, maybe? Start rolling heroes first. Uh, I am willing to get rid of you. Let's see. Uh, engineers. Grimnir, unfortunately. Like, we have a few turns before Balagar can even do anything anyway, so it's not like we need to rush it. I'm going. Balagar, you had Spect Axe Lord. 
Yes, you had. Okay, good. Explore the Rangers. That's fine. Your 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 build is kind of fine. I don't even know what, what are you missing? You're missing an engineer. Maybe we did a little bit too many rangers. Maybe we did too many bugmans. I don't know. Good. Grimnir's axe. Oh, you can't actually reach there. What's your orders? You have my allegiance. Okay, so there's an army there. Foolish, stupid. Ooh, it's a nasty thing too there. Okay. Yeah, this is the stuff we want. Like that one we do want specifically. So just here are kind of minor. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Your wall. No wall. I hope. We might have to do some trading with Emmerich here to make this uh, work. Retake the realms. Send me to vengeance. Aye. Okay, so we are recruiting. Let's take this on them next. And I can actually build a gold mine here too. That wall's going up. I do want Queek straight rights. It's, it's like anti-infantry. I probably wouldn't mind having Queek straights. Urban flail. Yeah, ten anti-infantry. I wouldn't mind having that on Belagar and the other dudes too. Construction cost all buildings. That's not too bad actually getting. Let's continue here though so we can actually get to the Royal Guard. And still 22 turns self. Okay. I really hope they don't go and defend Crooked Fang Fort. I want them to stay here so uh, Imrik takes care of them. Didn't actually attack. Fuck me. There's Queek too. Three stacks there. I don't know if Esma can actually handle this. There's Versug. What brings you to the Lioness wants tr Ooh, Volkmar is alive. Uh we are probably very good being friendly with you, I think, right? Caravan, free money. 
Okay, so Quake is there. A binding oath. Um, I kind of want to go down here. I don't want to do this siege because Quake is too close for that. Um. Throw banners. Let's march. To war. Wait, are you raiding me now? You little shit. Oh, God damn it! So we're gonna have to take care of that crap. Probably right. Hmm. Yes. On my way. Okay, what do you need? What do you need? Probably a little bit more infantry, right? Than an engineer. This is what we're gonna roll with. Flamer. We need a flamer, actually. We definitely need a flamer. We can get artillery now, too. Maybe I skip artillery for now. When we're dealing with Skaven, artillery is kind of just a bad thing. Almost. Tough. Go on there. Strategist doesn't even work. Yeah, probably getting a runesmith a cap would not be a bad idea. No, artillery is still good. Especially depending on what kind of artillery you're doing. I'm definitely gonna get artillery in the army when we're done. But we first need to actually get rid of Skaven, because Skaven is just uh, artillery killers. Like, uh, especially when you're fighting Clang Morse, when they have two extra summons every time. I think I'm gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna go here and take this out. There's another one there now. I have no idea if this is fortified or not. Hmm. Daitsu, welcome, welcome. Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts for the Karazhan core. How far can you go? Quick says no. So you can go that far, but you can probably underway around here too. The city is not fortified, but it has Impossible. that thing. But I do have choppers in this army. Plus we do have the heroes. It's not like super good anyway. Yeah, I guess we'll pop down here and see what they want to do. We're going to have to deal with these guys, though. It might be Belagar's first job. Might be Belagar's first job. Did I build the engineering thing here? It's considering if I just build it down here instead so we can move on next turn. It's four turns build, though. Um, like, either I'm going to have to take whatever or we just skip him for now. Our ancestors would be proud. Maybe we just fill up. Okay, but we'll build the engineering thing down here. We have money. We'll take the engineering thing here, down here too. And how much will your army cost next turn? 600, that's not even that much extra upkeep. Yeah, that's fine. So we can have Belagar actually... go in. Okay, so I want this to be pretty much Empty. Can you see I'm busy? The runes wait for. They're not terribly strong now. What's Munford doing? Mortals. Looks like Munford's doing fairly good. Twelve settlements. Okay, I guess we'll see what happens here. Hmm. 
Let's see what Queek decides to do. He just fortified that. And they fortified this. Okay. I think that's actually a better... Maybe. Is that a plague? Coming up there. Look, looked like a plague, plague hero. So I did want to deal with Weak on the other army just because we can get the perk, but I think it's just let's see what what we actually have here to uh, to play with. Also, we do not have enough archivists yet. So what did he put in here? Mutant rat. Ogres, one plague claw. Um, he's 21, actually. How much annoying shit do you have? Do you have walls? No, you have no magic, too. 20 negative magic, that's perfect. Uh, they do have 8 summons. 6 plus 2. Hmm. Yeah, we can probably take that. Esma should be good enough to take on that. Yes. Never forwards. It is a mountains. Mm. This did not have a wall no either, right? Is this tier five, by the way? No, no tier four. Be some if we take out Queek here, I don't it's think they can. I don't think this army can defend against you. I bring Azurian's fire. True king of eight peaks. Okay, let's start traveling down. Wait, 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 before I do that. I need to check. So no one here. Valeia. <sighs> Maybe we just take one. Whatever. Definitely getting rid of determined. It's not bad getting a Valeia one. Like, they're not fighting anyway, so it kind of, like, feels bad having these guys here. I lied. What, can I... what is good on Engineer? Pretty much nothing. It's just Disciplined. I want Disciplined to switch out our Engineer in the main army with Thorgrim here. Because he doesn't really have anything. He just has Grungi. And since I'm going to do a Hammer army, I would like Disciplined for it. So we can get more Hammer power. But yeah, there's very few perks on Engineer that's actually, like, just anything. Onward. Aye, it will better our cause. Okay, but I don't have the purple mortar here, and actually no artillery whatsoever, right? Yeah, no artillery whatsoever, so this is a easier fight than that one. It's gonna be two annoying sieges in a row. With loads of summons. Do not have any money I need to upgrade this to at some point. How much does a wall, by the way? Eighteen hundred. Hmm. 
I'm not super far off from... Oh, this has not been upgraded yet. I definitely need to increase that. We want to get our gold mine to max here or there. Yeah, it looks like we have two huge freaking sieges to do. But at least no warp bombs. I do hear them. But the ones with red eyes. Eight blockers. <laughs> That's a good one. Eight blockers. We don't really have anything the choppers needs to do this this one actually. Choppers have nothing special that they need to do. I guess you could help out with the summons back here. I actually realized my frontline is very freaking small. Oh, no, no, wait, I have hammers too. That's why the frontline is very small. Are doing Thorgrim here. Maybe we just so call all the shots on Thorgrim. Until we can get that tower down. Shouldn't be too far off. Someone should be coming in at any moment. There it is. Don't know why they went with the hammers. But that makes stuff easy. Hammers are easily able to deal with that. Oh, they can't even hit him? Is he too small? Like, you only took a little bit of splash there. Sixty. Okay, good. Uh, let's move this with us a little bit then. Ooh. Oh, they capped that. Good. Let's go for them now. Understood, Lord. Got the unbreakables here now. Closer. The gate should be fairly close to being open. There's the next one coming in. I've left. Let 
vengeance begin! Put those dwarven legs! Is that Queek there? Actually, quick. Oh, fuck, more summons. Ow, artillery. Don't be rude. He's actually doing a lot of damage to Thorgrim. Got a couple of good hits in, looks like. Might actually need to pull you out a little bit. Freaking Queek. I don't think there was anything else here, right, that did any damage really to him. Okay, more summons. Got region here though. I guess poison did. Did you guys actually? Maybe fuck them up a little bit. Swimmer, did the rattling guns? Might have been the rattling guns, right? So he can do some damage to Thorgrim. He's pretty big, so on his little anvil. There, that's fine. Formation that can fit in the door. Do you any range in here? Queek's gone now. Maybe it's time for us to go in again, then. Deep Breakers kind of went away. Like someone... Can you actually kill Queek? Just get a little bit of damage on him. He actually got a few hits in there.
He should be able to shoot the storm room in there. I feel. Yeah, we're actually doing like pretty decent damage with those choppers on Queek. Um, you guys are almost out of ammo. It's in the Runesmith too, maybe now. I haven't heard a summon in a while, so maybe it's time for Hammers to actually go in and do their job. Oh yeah, that's actually shot down quick. The flamer unit up here too. Yeah, actually shot down quick. Is he stuck up there? He's just kind of running back and forth. Okay, Thorgrim, how the hell did you end up in there? Coming back there, but that's fine. Taking some casualties on the hammers with the, uh, but it's still worth it. This should go pretty smoothly, right? Hammers bunking storm vermin. That went pretty smooth. Nothing can stop us. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get you in there too. Ooh, there's some flamers back there. Just saw that. Too far back for us to actually reach them too. Flamers move in a little bit. It's a flamer up there too. Night runner slings. Let's send you in and we'll send in the flamers. And we'll deal with them that way. Oh, Torgrim has a region capped. Flamer right now. Fire! Reload! Fire! Ready to serve! War of vengeance! I address! This quick on like zero HP.
Send you in there. His flamers are better. Iron Drakes. Our flamers are better than their flamers. I might need to reload them. Get the engineer in and actually reload them. A lot of my crap is kind of. Wait, that's our losses. Never mind. We don't have to do anything. Cool. I don't know if the hammer is got to do that much. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they actually did fairly well. Almost 300 on one of them. Flamers, 500. Student, no archivist. Three go. levels up and no archivists. Wait, actually, did I want to get this? No, that's not super important right now. Yeah, getting a uh, modern regrunner is probably more fun. 26, you level automatically. What about you? Are you missing anything super important on you? Not really, right? Nineteen though. So almost there. Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts. This mental Daria is down here with the ghost boys. A little bit different army here. For clan honor, it is yeah, actually scout that out right now. Like I wouldn't mind just keeping this distracted so we can take this whole zone and then we just trade Imric for the last bit here maybe. And we did already do the hero recruitments. Okay, gold mine? No, diamond, uh, diamond mine? Death Gorge. Okay, I want to see... Where's like still stupid big? Wait, Durthu? Are you fighting? No, you're not. Who are you fighting then? You're fighting Versug. Durthu's fighting Versug. Okay. Retake the realms. Mm, we have some rat ogres here. That's pretty bad for our characters. They do have, yeah, they do have magical attacks. We're gonna have to snipe those out. Uh, we have nothing but our catapults to counter that catapult, and still like a million summons. Mortal Lord. I don't have any hammers here too to actually deal like with the summons easy. Maybe we just let the ghost boys deal with it then.
I guess a ghost boy could be Bates for the summons. Keep two long beards, maybe. In the like back line. We have one play with one gun. Let's start shooting. Battle ready. Yeah, I think Aspen is probably the best of our dudes to actually take care of. Uh, like pretty much everything until we have dealt with the mutant rat horrors. I hope they're kinda. Do you stay here? Stay with that engineer. A pretty big hit on you there. Like a shot. Nothing can stop us. Mm, summon in like seven seconds. Where's my gun actually? No! I forgot about my gun. It's on the wrong side of the freaking map. There's my flamers too. God damn it. Oh shit. Oh, no! crap. Nothing can stop us. There is no way I can do anything there, right? The tower is almost gone. Oh, fuck me. Us oh, we're almost out of range of it, though. Yeah, you just die here or whatever. I forgot about you anyway. It's too light for you guys. Uh, we're gonna have to keep out of line of sight here. Because this is just murdering us. Until... Okay, there's a summon. We're gonna have to go counter that uh, artillery they have. So much freaking damage. God, I hate the plate claws. Okay. We need to counter their plate claws. First things first. Where do you need to go? There's the next summon. God, I wish we didn't have to deal with this. I wish they would fix this mechanic so you can't summon, like, you have a minimum range to summon. Would be so much nicer. Like, you can't summon anything, like... How the fuck did you rally? You were supposed to go out. Like, just make him a minimum distance, right? Like, you can't summon away from your lord or whatever. It is so bad dealing with this garbage. They're going for the flamers. Wait, oh no, you don't have that. The god about you actually don't have that. Uh, there's two catapults left in that thing. Vengeance. Will do. Who's 
There's the next one. We can get some more of that. I, I just need to keep, a, keep an eye on it, so... They actually already rallied. The name... Yeah, let's just keep shooting that until we're done here. Uh, okay... I think we have like four or five summons left, right? I can't flee from this battle. Or, I couldn't when he was done. But... Yeah, I think I kind of regret taking the gun anyway. Kind of regret taking the gun anyway. Okay, next summon. Let's see what happened to that guy. So they're coming back again. Once that is done... They might not actually pick the artillery up though. Okay, where's the mutant rat ogres? There's one. They can kill our ghost boys. There's two there. Don't waste your ammo here. I don't think they'll pick it up again. Okay, are Sir Flamers here yet? No. I'll keep you back here and I'll get to you. Yes. Any chance you can reach the mutant rat horror? No. Maybe? No. Can't reach that. a lord too. Wait, no, that's a hero. Okay, um, ghost boy. We're not here yet. We're gonna have to... Oh, there he is. Good. There's the... one of the targets I actually need. Unit right over. I guess we could just send you in and maybe you'll come for us, right? And then we can send in, send in King Lon after that. We stay put. Range fast. Range fast. So you're a little bit too late here. For the ancestors. You guys would move, we don't do anything with. Let's go up a little bit. That should be enough for it to take you down. Yes, good. There's another one coming in here. We do not have regeneration here on you, I think, right? Okay, I think we can send in King Alon now. There's only one left. 
Fuck, of course he got a one on him straight away. No, oh, it looks like it's going fine anyway. Good. Take care of the Lord. You tank the rats. Set for the Lord too, or a uh, chieftain, or yes. Uh, yeah, and you need ammo. That should be good enough. If the ghost boy can get a finishing bow on that guy. Oh, he shattered, so it's fine. been shooting at these guys for so long though. Uh... Okay. Sabusan, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. And welcome, welcome. Okay, Ghost Boy. Oh, that Plague Priest is already running. Yeah, I think it might be time for Esme to go out here. Might pull back you slightly too. Let the flamers do their job. Much more do you have? Night runners there? Do you have any flamers left or anything? You have lots of night runners. Oh, holy crap, you have lots of night runners left. I don't have enough ammo to kill all these night runners. No, that guy rallied and came up there. I like that I pull you out and then you're you're the only one in melee anyway. Like two seconds later. I will do it. Strike the runes. I need to get you a read an item. What does this, these dwarfs do? They're sturdy, small, and they have flamethrowers. And they have a really big beard. Also, they don't like to walk themselves, so they have a little anvil with people walking them for them. So Asmir doesn't really want to walk. Just four guys carrying him around. Okay, you, you, you definitely need to go out now. You have lost way too much health. Any ammo left on you guys? Of course, there's a freaking Skaven Slave Slinger in there too. 
Oh, Night Runners. They're actually going for the Flamers, too. Wait, don't you have another Wrap and Ruin? You do. Hey, what are you doing? Are you guys trying to go in? We're gonna have to go grind this with our units the last bit. Little rats. Chieftain. It's down. Okay, I don't know what you guys were doing in here. You have any ammo refills at all? No. Nothing left. This is my last piece of ammo. So now it's all grinding. God damn it. When did they decide to go in here right now when we were actually like... Kinda... Now they are coming in when our flamers are choked up. Just go out. Now they're really going in for it instead. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna have to sit here for a while. I could maybe get to you in actually fighting here. Yeah, I need to get my infantry out. We sent in so we can get the flamers going again. Simply durable units. It's on. Your cooldown and everything, kind of. So many slings. Yeah, they are freaking murdering my flamers here. I need to get into the night runners so they don't actually murder my, my things here. There's only seven flamers left. It's all that guy too. I didn't actually think that guy would do that much damage to our flamers, but he did. He definitely did. 
Yeah, luck speed 40 seconds. Definitely underestimated a little Ninja right back here. Should have gone and taken care of him earlier. Evening dream. Campaign going. Um, it's going. We have uh, 3 million rats as usual to uh, take care of. There's only six flamers left now. But that is our losses finally. Yeah, I did lose most of them though here, which kind of sucks. So only have one. And the handgunners. <laughs> 777 kills on the flamers. Had so much range in this city. Completely ran out of ammo. Relic sword. Rune of Adamants. Master of Runecraft. Oh, got two level ups though. It's not bad. Two level ups. I guess that means replenishment full for you. Uh, let's see. Rune of Harp and Helm, Negation. And uh, Triangulation for you. How are you, Spike? You were actually like fairly good overall. Uh, yeah, I need to decide what we're gonna do with you. So you just get more defense for now. Yeah, it's gonna take a few turns to get this over with. Artillery. Oh wait, I can actually get an Iron Drake here. You know what? Maybe it's not worth re-recruiting, but we can recruit another one since our handgun was died anyway. You can have two flamers. Actually, rolled the building, that's not too bad. A little bit unfortunate, unfortunate at least. Can't believe we didn't get a single archivist this turn either. Um, get some money. Do we want to do the last quest battle too? The High King acts. Maybe. We do have one more quest battle to do. Mm. How's our forces here? It's only really Thorgrim. It took any damage here on one of the hammer units. I answer to clan and hold. And add. Pretty good roll here, too. Mm -hmm. Greetings. What do you require of Karakazol? Mr. Thorek. I wonder if it's time for me to just have a empty lord with me. We do have a rename from uh, Bower. I think from yesterday too. Uh, I want to say we have a rename from Bower. Yeah, he wanted to murder him. Highborn. I'll save the replenishment quest battle for later. I think, and we'll just trade this instead. More trade goods. We check the Sigma diplomacy swing. over a little bit today. That's Wind fine. Sleeper. Trade. We have a lot of people who want to trade Ready now. To defend. Ready. The dragon blooded. You stand before the supreme. We have military access there for you and a aggression. Yeah. 
I'm okay with that. I will allow Sounds like a good plan. Child of the night. We are not going to do any of the minor Cathay, though. Okay, so they have no major capital anymore, I think. Oh no, so he has one, two, three, four, five. He should have five. If he doesn't have anything anywhere else, that's like sneaky. Sneaky little rat hole. He has four. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't even have this. Right? No wait, he does have this. One, two, three, four, yeah. That's the four he has. That is the four he has. Okay, Imrik is too afraid. Oh, did he just declare war on these guys? Oh yeah, he did. He just declared war on the rogue uh, faction. Decided to do our Tommen. Welcome, friends of the Dark Guild. Do you want to war against Vlad? No, thank you. Did I get a defensive at uh, the Empire yet, by the way? I don't know if I did. Yeah, that's a big, uh, big boy army they're running around with. A scary one. Recruitment for long beard, savage blows. Okay. The Let's just see degree. Misty Mountains here, then. It's good. The throng is mustard. Okay, are we lucky with any rolls? Valaya and Grimnir. There's the dis discipline I wanted. Okay, so that's perfect. And I can recruit him down here in two turns, because... Yeah, that's gonna be perfect also, then. Do you have Wrath Marcher? Okay. I think you might have that, right? Yeah, you do have that already, so we can just continue... ...hoping around with... On, ...on the way. So we get... ...this here next turn. Kinda wanna play Warhammer 3 again. Was a fun, hard campaign. I play on very hard, very hard. I often lose interest in my runs pretty fast. Was different in Warhammer 2, though. Any recommendations? Um, I haven't, like, since the AI really doesn't declare that many wars anymore, it could be difficult finding a really hard campaign. But... I... This is just pure speculation, though. I believe the Empire is... Probably still a pretty hard campaign if the Empire is something you want. I think Marathi... Can... I don't know how Marathi is now. Marathi is probably still gonna be fairly... Like, you're still gonna find the High Elves. You have a mother here too now, above you, right? So you have another threat. I don't know how good the Kislev AI is with her, but she's pretty nasty. So you have another threat. There. If you love playing Dark Elves though, I know Malekith wasn't like easy PC. Malekith has a lot of shit to deal with up here, like uh, both uh, Valkia and um, Sigwald. 
What's the hardest campaign I've played? Like, since the AI doesn't go clear that many wars anymore. He <sighs> From what we've seen, the AI is definitely less aggressive against a player. It doesn't value the player as it did before. Like, this is normally a guaranteed war rights. But if you want to do something hard, you just clear a bunch of wars. I think the AI on the campaign map seems to be doing, on average, better than it did before. Like, on average, I think on the actual campaign map, it's doing better, but it just, just doesn't declare that many wars. And since it's random faction potential now, too, some factions can be a lot harder than you normally like. You're not going to have the same campaign. Because, for example, I think Imric here rolled really, really well in his faction potential. If you don't know what faction potential is, it's basically... Before, there was a set faction potential, pretty much. There wasn't too much random to it. Uh, all major factions are faction potential. They have a higher auto resolve and do better on the map, get more money and stuff. Uh, but now it's random. So, like... Pretty much any campaign can become a lot harder depending on how your neighbors roll their faction potential, right? So, faction potential is randomly rolled on all major factions now. So, so major faction that might not be, like, strong at all might just become a freaking powerhouse. Like, for example, Verse, like, I think rolled fairly well too. Like, this is pretty big for being an orc. I don't think he rolled max, but I think he rolled well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, while, for example, here, I think Ungrim rolled really bad. Because he's been... Oh, he's actually up to 30 now. He's not been strong the whole game. Ungrim is usually a fairly strong faction. Not that he, like, grows too much, but he has a lot of nasty armies, usually. But he's been doing fairly badly, I would say, for a dwarf. So I think he rolled bad. Uh, same here, down here. I, I saw this. Munford's usually almost always dead, right? Munford's almost always dead. Like, he's not doing good because he's a vampire, probably, most likely. And he's fighting a lot of stronger enemies around here. But I think Munford rolled, uh, rolled pretty good. Comparatively. To what he normally does. And I think Empire also rolled pretty good. So Empire is usually not this strong either, right? Yeah, Chaos Dwarf seems to have not done much. Same with Pride same with uh, Gold Tooth here. They're kind of petering off right now, but they're pretty big for being Gold Tooth. So... Horn has been fairly weak, I think. Like, any campaign can make be hard. Also, if you actually want a hard campaign, just declare a crap ton of wars. If you want to do it the hard way. Like, uh, the Dwarf campaign here, if you do, like, a couple of wars that you're not planning on. For example, this campaign would have been a lot harder if Versag ever decided to attack us. But he's been leaving us alone and dealing with the rats. So, like, dealing with rats and Versag at the same time is painful. It is incredibly painful. But he's just been leaving us alone. And I've been so tempted, this is so such a juicy territory too, that we can go in and just take from him. But yeah, rats are definitely priority number one in for me in every campaign. Rats need to die. I there's probably a mod or something soonish that you can actually see faction potential. Because I know there was I think there was a setting in SFO actually, so you could actually turn faction potential yourself. Honestly, I it had that last time I played. Yeah, but yeah, I think you just have to declare a couple of wars if you want it hard. Islov is hard but just painful. I think Mother was actually really interesting, but we def you definitely get to the steamroll moment with them too. But she she's definitely my favorite Kislev because she doesn't actually start in Kislev. So, if you want a harder campaign, just declare a crap ton of wars. 
Wrap ton of wars. What do you need? Start dwarfs, declare war on every rat and every orc around you, and you're gonna have a fun time. I wonder if I can trade this with uh, Imrik somehow. Prince so I can complete the zone. What is our objective, by the way? What's not actually our objective? Complete the major grudge. Yeah, we don't know. Give short victory, 70 Salamans, and short grudge. Okay. Retake the realms. Oh, finally we got another archivist. That took a while. Let's march. Uh, you already have one. Okay, fine. Uh, yes. You probably don't have one, right? Yeah, you did. I what do. about you? No, you don't. Supplying. There we go. 303 research. Hmm. Feels good. Yeah, hey, you're welcome, Drew. I don't mind. I hope. Uh, Stupid. give a wall. Not. No, you don't. No wall here. No. You do have this thing. Do you have choppers? I, I do not have choppers. Mm. Never. No. Like, if it didn't have this thing, I wouldn't have even hesitated here. This is just. Flame trash, right? But it does have this thing, and I have no way to counter it on us, man. I guess we could ambush. It's as good as done. I guess we could ambush and see if they come to us. Got a pretty good ambush chance there, too. Send me to vengeance! Onward! Mm. What do I need in this army? I need this for later. And... I guess I can take the research right here. It's fine. Oh, this is ready. Cool. Rungi... Grimir. Oh yeah, you. And you. Okay, so we have caps now. Hmm. I think you can take out both cities in one turn, pretty much. Especially if we get an amb if we get an ambush on you, or you actually move away, we'll take that with Desma, and then we'll send Thorgrim down here, take that, and we have the two zones, and then he has this left, which we can trade to Imrik for maybe Spite Peak. Maybe Spite Peak. It should be. Decent. Hopefully. It could be a good idea to actually ha let him have that whole province. Now that I think about it, just so he kind of cuts through our territory. So he can help us in wars too. It might not be a bad idea trading him that because that territory only has, only has lumber. That's the only thing he does have.
Yeah, it's nothing more than lumber. Did our ambush fail, by the way? I didn't see this game in move. Oh, it's that a... No, that's an engineer. Okay. Impossible. Did we get discovered? We didn't actually get discovered. I'll be freaking damn, we didn't get discovered. And this night, didn't I remove uh, this thing? Pyramid of Wakes. The High King acts. Oh, I could actually do this with uh, Thorgrim instead. Do we have a generic lord? I need a generic lord. Determined. Valaya? Probably Valaya then. You have this little slightly lowered Valaya here too, Runesmith. Okay, we get our own lumber. That thing I did forget about, like for forty turns. High Elven Archmage. Mm. Do we just go here and outdress all this so I don't have to fight that? Not a bad idea. A binding oath. Ah, that is a Desolation. Eligar. Lord of the Anglon. Lund's heir. I'm gone. I'll cast the runes. Grimnir is with us. By the fort, father! Ah! Ah! Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts. I would like not to do another can. one million Skaven summon fight. Low. Anything weird. Dying here. Doesn't look like it. See if we can get another archivist. Somebody. Yeah, some slight damage, but it's fine. I'm tired of fighting freaking Skaven. Oh, another archivist, another student, another student. It's the wrong guys we're getting now. Okay, so. Let's see, you have a student, you have an archivist. You have both right too. Student Archivist, yeah, you have both. Ooh. Esma, Immortal. Hell yeah. That's nice. I can actually equip you with some cool stuff now. If I have any. I need to build. I need to build some cool stuff for you. And Sean at item, Iron Warden's tankard. Probably do like. I don't know, do we have anybody who's missing that crap? Probably have somebody who's missing the Iron Warden's tankard. Well, two. What other items do we want? Um. Uh, you don't have that much. can we build? These are just weapons and armor that are kind of nice. I like the chilling aura. It's good, but I sort of don't actually go past you. 
many... How much do I have? Actually, do we want some banners, maybe? Ancestor runes. Anti large. Sanctuary. This may. It's not actually that bad. Getting a, a Hexor around you. Yeah, let's get some batters. Mm, let's see what else do we have. Disguise artillery. This is what I want. I want a organ gun with this on. Snipe stock or organ gun. Emulation. That's not the bad rune of battle either. Let's take that one too. I shall waste all your points. Go ahead. There's a super waste if you really want to go for it. Okay, let's equip you with whatever we are currently sitting on. Uh, wouldn't mind Sword of Anti-Heroes on you. And then we have Iron Warden's Tankard. And then... Runes, you don't have any runes. Leaving. Armor. Defense is fine. I need more runes. Excel channel points. Just gamble them away with lifting. Sure. Get another defense rune on you. Did we take 25 attack on you? Feels weird. That's my other spite rune, actually. We put that on Belagar, right? My other spite rune. I'm fairly sure I put that on. Oh, wrong order. Let's go tricking Felix weapons. We can't use those. Fighting green skins. I need talismans. Yep. Is there any ghost boy who doesn't have a rune? Lord of Clan Morgan. I don't care about your runes. What about Master you? You have runes. Yes. You have runes. Billigan. You have runes. Okay, every ghost boy has a rune. Ah, sure. You get a little bit of armor piercing, whatever. Okay. Now, let's check this. Speed Vanguard deployments. Another perfect big rune. You don't actually need an Archivist on you. You keep that. Brewmaster is like pointless. Uh, what else? Is there anything here? Shield Breaker. Sure. Stone Mason. Twenty percent speed of thirty speed is not that much. I guess this is what you you're gonna roll with for now. I don't have anything better for you. Do not have anything better for you. Well, for you. You finished? Yeah, I did finish Polar Skates. I'm definitely planning on doing a, a Dark Arch run, though. I really want to do a Dark Arch run. But I'm waiting for them to kind of like 
fix it up. I hardly want to get it. They're working on stuff already to uh, to add, so I'm just kind of patiently waiting for to do another run. Dark Arch is basically you get like murder thoughts and you can choose to resist them or not, which usually ends up in you if you fail to resist or if you don't want to fail to resist, it usually ends up you murdering somebody. Yeah, so it's like, oh, there's a, oh, look there, a cute bunny. Kick it into a tree. Or. Oh shit, I'm feeling a little bit murdery. Better go murder one of my companions while they sleep. Goody two shoes retro power. I, I I played a goody two shoes uh orc berserker. <laughs> That's what I did. It's really fun. Okay, it's worse like time soon. I heard Paladin's super broke though, but I haven't really tested it too much. What do you want? Do you more against Hunters of Kronos? No. Because they're right in my territory with a full stack. I do not want that in my newly acquired regions. Yeah, they're sitting right on my territory there. Yes. Emirk must have rolled max. There's no other way. Halfling? I found so many holes in... Uh... Oh my god, there's so many holes for halflings during the game and I, I never could use anybody because I had nobody who could use it. And then I saw when I basically was done with the game that you could use Disguise with Shadowheart or whatever and become a halfling and use those freaking little holes. Uh, okay, never, never thought about it, but it apparently does actually work. You could just disguise self as halfling or whatever it's called, right? Okay. Mar Monster Engineer Disciplined. We are gonna save you. Because I think we were incredibly lucky getting one. So you're gonna be perfect for the hammer stack. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, we'll let you roll. I would like a disciplined one of these two. I would definitely like a Disciplined Runesmith if we can find one. And we're just gonna stack it. Can't waste some growth here, but it's fine. Let's see if they get Queek here next turn. Uh, so we could actually do this fight here against Tantos of Kronos. Because they're in our territory here and we can probably finish them off. It's gonna hurt though. That is a lot of Way Watchers. That is definitely gonna hurt. But we could do it. You have my allegiance. Definitely do it. Well, How much do you want for Spite Peak, by the way? The Dragon Prince's time. Is it impossible to actually trade that? 14, that's not, e not even that bad. We can probably definitely do that. Hmm. 
So, do we bring a lord? A new lord? You were an AI lord, right? That we got from you. Okay. You have the basic stuff here. Let's see that. We have the rename. You might recognize the name. That's Bower from yesterday, I believe, right? Yeah, Bronze Beard. Okay. Now he does need to get Queek here. Do I wait for the Engineer? No. No, I don't think so, right? Let the Engineer run down. You'll get there. Sooner or later. Red throws all games. <laughs> uh, what did he actually stream today? I don't even know what he actually streamed today. I have no money. Yes. Good. Oh, didn't I move you? Oh. Did Oh fuck, I should've attacked. God damn it, I forgot. We were supposed to attack the hunters. Damn it. Oh <laughs> okay. Starfield. That game looks very mediocre. I don't know yet. I was kind of thinking about maybe testing it out, but it looks like very, very mediocre. That game. Welcome, kid. You finally in for this? Oh my god, that took so long. Twenty six. Did you lose? Oh yeah, you lost all your armies. This will probably make it slightly harder to confederate you though, but it sounds like you're close anyway. Yeah, I'll just freaking take it. We only had military access for them anyway, so... And we can actually see how, how he is doing too, when we have a military alliance with him. Hundreds of Kronos. Speed for infantry. So that was not quick. Let's what see if they have anything down here. Yeah, that was their last. I was kind of figuring that would be the case. Fine. Yeah, I want the, the trait on Belagar. Vengeful Rune Lord. Uh, let's see. Also vengeance. Okay. I don't really have anybody who can use this. Oh, we could technically just give it to this guy. Since it's bugged still. By the ancestor gods. Playing board games. Retake the I have not played board Bring games in a long while. Bids in belts for Karazanko. Any particular board game? I forgot my last dude. Oh, another archivist. Red Dragon Inn? I have never even heard of that. Like, I have never heard of that, ever. <laughs> Maybe I should dismiss this guy for now. I don't have any recruits in here anyway. Do we keep this here? No, there's a diamond mine here. We don't keep that there. 
Rune, Ricky. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, I have no red line skills on you yet. I thought I had red line skills on you. I guess I didn't. Okay. Let's go through our dudes here. See who actually needs what here. Our ancestors would be proud. You don't even have any gear. The archivist student. You can get a tattooist too. That's fine. I've been lazy with you, I guess. What about you? You have both, too. You have both. Can I help you? I guess you can get this since you have so many empty slots anyway. What about you? Runesmith. Tatuist, dwarf, fried, crop. You have a. You didn't have a lot of crap either. Speed, sanctuary, dismay, rid of battle. I guess an archivist for you too, then. The High King acts. Mm, yeah, you're good. So are you. The beans, it's yours, the last one. What do you want? Okay, good. What are we research up to now? 354 percent. I stand defiant. Hi, laddie, off we go. Any runesmith? Cunning. That was a bad. That was some bad rolls on the runesmiths there. My anger burns bright. I answer to clan and hold. I wonder where our next. What are you guys doing, by the way? 35. And you guys? Our bargain will 31. Be in Barely even match, looks like. So four turns, we can do tier five. Do we gain anything by tier five here? I'm getting a slot right. Uh, we can make the hiking seat. Yeah, that's about it. Hiking seat. Aerocopters, aerobombers. Yeah, I'll probably build these two as the last thingies, right? We cannot be reasoned with. Program. Nope. That could actually be fairly good for you.
What are our aim gonna go for now? Could be a little bit interesting to see wait, how much... So we don't have military alliance with them. But holy crap. Oh my god, did he have a word save talisman on that guy? I think he did, right? There's Quake too. Perfect. Scryer back during the Empire. It does look like he's actually attacking, though. Lord... Lost. Evening bar. Grudge Anhad, fulfill my tringy oath. What? Okay, now we need to kind of get on the first legs. Oh my god, we're making so much money. Finally, it's ready to. We are making the cash. Hey, there's no trade resource here, right? Wait, before I do this, if I'm gonna build a lot here, I probably want to recruit our building... ...building dude. You never... the seven turns still? Maybe we should just remove the wall... ...and get a growth building. Pancakes. I bring Azurian's fire. Yeah, we should probably just recruit the Lord here and just uh, take it cheap. Yes. Okay. Let's see. So we build the Dwarfin thingy. Yeah, Iron Breakers for the garrison. Get the growth. Get the money. And uh, we broke. Yep. Lord of Clan Mork. Pop you out again. Okay, I think it's time to else to upgrade the armies. It's as good as done. I think it's time for us to start upgrading the armies. I'll cast the runes. Casting the runes. And start fighting some green skins. Belagar should be able to deal with this. Can Belagar deal with this, you think? Getting Nagashisar out of the way? It's a lot of crap in Nagashisar. Does he need help? He might need help, right? You have a flamer? You do have a flamer. No artillery though, but we do have choppers instead. No engineer either. High King support? Yeah, probably would. You think if I pop here? If I can pop over here then? I feel like I should be able to pop here and then over there. I feel it. Let's gamble. I feel like I should be able to pop over here. That doesn't mean anything. Is there any enemies left back here, by the way? Nope. Gore stud by you? Hmm. 
moved everybody then? Yeah. Okay, next turn we're probably gonna have to recruit traits. So what do we need for Asmus army? Probably iron breakers, right? Your iron breakers would be nice. And organ guns. Red shores are fine. An organ gun or two. You also may have after war yeah. Uh I definitely can see that. Could definitely see that being a thing. I am still not a hundred percent sure it was an AI upgrade either, but um, it's kind of an upgrade, but also a downgrade, in my opinion, from what I've played so far. And they did do two hot fixes, which I don't think I've ever seen before. They did actually do two hot fixes this um, this patch. Which is something I think is very rare. I don't think I've ever seen two halt fixes within a week before. And it was actually one of the bad bugs they fixed too. I don't know if you read the patch notes today, but they fixed all the bugged maps. That I found at least. There, there might be more still, but overall they fixed the bugged maps, which is definitely very annoying because we were one of the bugged maps is an underway map that they fixed today. I haven't played it since then, but hopefully. Yeah, we'll see how they actually, like, how they do until... What the hell? Runs just d deleted two stacks of scave in there. Which is one. Feels more natural, but definitely easier. Yeah, I think from what I've seen this campaign so far that I am probably gonna have to find a more aggressive AI mod. So they actually declare a little bit more wars. I feel like the AI on the map is doing good, but not really diplomacy-wise. Like if you've been to Ulta and you usually see that Safari is actually Dead most of the time, right? With all the feedback they get from the community, how can you release such a bad DLC? I... I don't know, to be honest. Like, personally, I kind of stopped even uh, giving feedback because I don't feel like they read it. Even from us. They might listen more to partners, but I Zorica. haven't really felt like I wanted to actually apply for it. I could have applied for partner a long time uh, like a long time ago, but I haven't really felt like it's been a thing. The last time I feel like to listen to my feedback was in Warmer 2. If you guys remember how Skaven was in Warhammer 2, like they were basically a menace for a patch or two. They were like ambushing everything, owning probably a third of the map in most games. It was a pretty freaking bad for a while, I would say even. And um, 
I did actually write some feedback about that, and um, oh my god, I could actually get over. Hell yeah! And I, uh, they kind of implemented what I asked about. It doesn't mean like they actually read my feedback though, because I didn't actually get anything from it. But I did actually suggest that they nerf uh, stalk stance and they give encampment stance, uh, like the ambush protection buff. And also, something I also put in is the uh, summons that there are. You can summon anywhere on the map, but that nothing actually came from. From that, I wanted I wanted them to tie Skaven summons to the Lord, or like a unit at least, so that you couldn't like summon if you're camping in the corner here, you couldn't just summon a random unit here. I wanted it to be tied to a Lord, so you could actually play the game when you're fighting against Skaven. So you don't have to wait for all the summons, you can actually have artillery. That's the thing I I did add into there, but they, they actually did the things, the other things I suggested. And nerfed uh, Warp Bomb 2. Uh, plus, they nerfed Warp Bomb. They added defense to encampment stance, ambush defense, and they also nerfed stalk stance, so it's not as good. That was the last feedback I wrote that I feel like they might have actually read it. Because they kind of implemented exactly what I wrote. But uh, since then, then there's been basically nothing. So I kind of gave up on it a little bit. Like it, basically all Warhammer 3, pretty much. Okay, let's get this army rolling. You know what I forgot about? Did I give you banners and shit? Because we haven't actually played with you yet. No, you have nothing. You have nothing. I don't have any artillery. But, uh, yep. Yeah. I have so many extra students that I have no heroes for. Wait, do you actually have one? Do I have one on my, me? Do I have one on me? I do not. Oh yeah, not a student then. What are we at now? 364. I think we need 400% before this go down, goes down to 2 though. Oh, there's a disciplined runesmith. Perfect. Okay, that was exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so we have our double disciplined for um for uh, Thorgrim's army. Ancestors heroes. I actually want to try our dudes for a little bit too here. I actually want to try this ranger army. I haven't really done anything with it. Even though they're... Oh wait, you had a wall? Fuck. I didn't see you actually had a wall. Oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> I thought it was just a minor settlement. Doesn't matter where we're going. Not really, right? Ready to fight. Runes are smiting upon them. Very well. I. I am Rondos. Axes out once. For the High King. Mm, we can't get all of you in anyway. So let's uh, keep you here, and you guys can come out, come help and defend. Quick march! Come on! Charge! You guys come in with us, and you guys can actually stay here and defend. I'm gonna have choppers as killing towers. Oh, 
thousand how much ish? Wait, you're actually blocked, one of you. Actually, not bad at killing towers. Like you're pretty decent. Their first summon play marks. Run, my boys! Good. A spite rune on you. Yeah, we do have a spite rune on you. Chung. Someone. Yes. Put those woven lights. Right in the middle of it. Hey, hey, hey! Don't try to engage multiples. Oh, fucking hell! They're going for it. No. Okay. Good. Kill a few rats. Wait, do you have your death sails down here? I didn't even see them. Guess who gets more summons? This is so satisfying. Burning through them. That's a good choke point from them. Oh, there's some of them. How many more summons are gonna pop in this area? I wonder.
That's a fine summon, actually. For once, it's not in our shit. Squeak 2. There is Squeak 2. And more summons. It's gonna be so nice getting rid of Queek though, holy crap. Getting rid of Queek is like being on vacation. So we can actually use our stuff. Like Queek is running away too. Heroes coming back too. Where are you going around? Nice, Joe Belagar. Okay, so we could do this two ways. We either just take it straight away. Oh my god, you had over a thousand? Eleven hundred kills. God, I love flamers. You actually had over a thousand. Quick straight isn't worth super much, I guess. In the grand scheme of things. Like, it's anti infantry. We got it on two characters out of three. And we had to wait five turns for it, so probably just take it and be happy about it, right? And just be happy that Queek is uh, done for. Uh, this is AI spec, so he's a little bit weird. I do like both of these, but I think we're going to take the Rangers first. Construction cost or settlements faction wide. That's so nice. Need to get another level up that one you first. Uh, what are we doing with you? I don't know if we should take this. Because I feel like Snipe probably doesn't do much for uh for this army. I don't feel like Snipe does much for a thing. Or uh, for the ranger, since they're not like super duper range anyway. Thirty-three hours already got bored. Yeah, I think it's kind of a game for a certain person, right? It's not for everybody, I would say. Holy shit, you're a strong, Emmerich. Streak. Start a version. Yeah, we're just friends because we kind of had the same enemy. Okay, so we have no military alliance. The question is, so so since AI tethering is kind of now a thing, it would make sense for us to give him Crooked Fang Fort. It would make sense. For us to trade him Crooked Fang Fort. So he has a region that goes through our territory and actually neighbors this. Because that means he will have a longer range than he would normally. So 
So it makes a little bit of sense trading that. Too many lows. Oh yeah, I heard a bunch of low screens. Yeah. Random faction potential. Nail it. You probably rolled fairly well. 15. Yeah. It's actually one rank stronger than we are. But yeah, since it's random faction potential now, anybody can get strong. Yeah, one uh, one more rank than we do. We're gonna get chunky soon. Rokar is kind of a natural expansion here. Just for his trait too. Because I love farming traits. So we have one city here right now. And I think getting Bitter Bay here is probably going to be very hard, right? Let's see what do you want for Bitter Bay. 192. Oh my freaking god. Yep. We can never trade that. There are threats to the mm. What about this area? We built... This is a ruined area. What about Caracasol? How much do you want for that? Like, I want to get something of value in trade, right? 52. That's probably because you have the whole zone, right? A moment can be spared, but no more. Some pit. Let's just see that. So, yeah. Yeah, we should have maybe occupied one of the zones there to get a better trade deal. Yeah. To battle. How much do we get for well, you from Desolation of Nagash if you want that? Time. Ooh, what? 119? That means I can probably trade it for Karkas, so we'll done. Hmm. What should he want for? Which one does he value most here? Azul or... What is this called again? Black Iron Mine. How much do you want for this? 62. And Karkasul is 52. Technically, we should do that. Wonder if he values this like super highly too, then. Some bit has some value for him. Hmm. Okay. I think I could trade get this whole zone from him, and we'll trade him this zone. Almost died around turn 25 to Versax, Skarsnick, and Queek. Oof. Actually played and finished in more campaign. Oh! He <laughs> showed me the Bitter Mine. <laughs> bitter Bay one. Yeah. Torgrim actually dies in, like, since, I guess, random potential, but before this patch, Torgrim almost always died to Skarsnik in my campaigns. Like, he was almost never alive anymore. He had a really hard time surviving. There's our... That's going into the main army. This is also going into the main army. Who has not moved? Esme has not moved. Could be smarter marching. Yeah. We'll march and then we'll pop over and then we'll do other stuff. Do the ghost boys actually have traits? No, they just have that their own. 
Oh, I didn't actually know the Ghost Boys had a buff. Plus five leadership local owned armies in local owned region. Do you guys also have that? No. Does the runesmith does the runesmith have anything special? What? Uh, leadership aura sites were dwarfs. Yeah, no, nah, that's not gonna actually gonna do much for you. It is time. Okay, let's get in here. This is something I actually probably want as many lords as possible because uh, the leader of this faction has full blue gear, so he has one of the better items in the game on equipped on him and you get one shot of killing him if we don't sack it no like he's always sitting in there so you only get one shot of actually stealing some items from him so i guess it's good we have both of you here because that means we can attack with two armies instead of one so you'll double chance of actually stealing ready yeah uh, i'm gonna run to a bathroom so i'll be right back Greetings, Sigma's chosen. Okay. Join the war against blood. You're doing super well on your own though. A little guilt. I don't think we need that. Don't think we. I actually think we can actually welcome them. Should be fine. There'll be some grudging soon enough to war. From Beres, move, true king of it. Oh no! You don't have enough move. Oh wait, never mind. It shall be done. Oh my god, that is the tiniest little green spot I've ever right. seen, but it works. Okay, so we're here. Um A nod? No, maybe we should just wait here for him to come back. Not actually that difficult to get a Nagashi sorry. No, it's a down here. It's pretty easy. Like you <laughs> have underway makes everything so much easier. This is gonna be pretty expensive, right? 
Obsidian is a new trade resource for us too, so that's pretty good. Vengeful Rune Lord. Actually, marching is still better. Marching is still better. An accord bound by runic law. Mm -hmm. Emergency Spirit took me eight turns to idle on, on campaign map. Yeah. I usually march up there when I'm playing any other faction. You just march to the attrition area and you just take one turn in encampment. That's usually the best way to do it. Because th this little tiny, tiny little pass here takes so freaking long to go through. It takes an incredibly long turn to go through. Um, so the question here, do we do here? If we build the military buildings, this is usually worth more for the AI. Growth is not worth much for them, so if we switch around a little bit of building-wise there, we could get a lot of more trade value out of it. And... Yeah. Get our building lord here. This is gonna be slightly expensive, right? Yeah. Lord of Clan Morgan. Don't mind doing that for what? you. Use the building lords. Oh crap, I just saved it for this next turn. Do we have another... Rungi? No. I should have saved you. Yeah. I should have saved you. For next turn. This is ready though, so that's nice. It hasn't built anything here, which means pretty good value for us. This is some keeping. Yeah, we're keeping all of this. So let's start upgrading that. Where are you fighting now? Nobody. Celestial ancestors. Storm by the comet. Oh, Council of Military time. Alliance. You're down to thirteen. Do you ever do anything though? The slayer in me seeks You fought death. something. Did you lose your city down here? Oh yeah. yeah. You did. He had this, I think, before, but he lost it. Ah, to die in battle. He lost it. Ah, oh, that's down to one turn now. I should actually probably get that. I actually forgot to get that, but that's down to one turn. That's a research. The runes are ready. Student. I lied. What can I do? Student, are we actually up to four hundred percent now? Not quite. I could get this down to two if I get two more, um, two more heroes. There's a Grungi here, though, that I could take next turn. I should Grungi here too. You know what? Let's recruit I both the Grungis here. By the King's command. Then we uh, just keep them for next turn. Ready. Oh, I have recruitment commandment here? Holy crap. I've been missing like 50 growth a turn there. I have been missing out. And I don't have it here either? Holy crap. What have I been doing? Public order commandments? That's why it's growing so freaking bad. I 
but here. I have it here at least. Oh my god. My talent has you. My challenge to you is one versus one. Why? <laughs> In what? Hmm? Street fight, obviously, of course. Burger contest? I think I can take him in a burger contest. Mud wrestling? I feel like I can take him in mud wrestling too. I think I could take him down. I'll definitely win the burger contest. Oh my god, it's 6% left only. 6%? It's 400% enough. Agreed. I've cast the room. I can get, like, I'm gonna dismiss this guy, but I just wanna see. I don't. Does it apply until next turn, right? Just want to see if that's enough to get us over. It is 404. Is that. No, that's still three turns. That is still three turns, so it we don't have high. enough anyway. I thought that would be uh, good enough. That is still 10k. How much is the actual price on it normally? 16k, so we do still have a pretty sweet thing there. Another grungy. Another determined. Strong. Hi, lad. What can I... Okay, give me something good. You summoned. I need uh, at least one more thane. Aye, that is a... I would prefer discipline, but I'll take... I'll probably take the Vallea if nothing else shows up. Yeah, I'm probably good with the Vallea one. Is it ever running through three meters or so? I'm 180. Um, I am the average uh, Swede length. I think no, wait. I'm actually probably one below now, and I was I was I was 180 centimeters was the average, but it's probably higher now. It's actually gone up. We apparently we've gotten longer. Sweden. Average length. Let's see what it is. Ah, it's 181 now. I'm actually one centimeter below. But when I was in, when I went to school, 180 was the average. Now it's 181, average. You're 188. Mm -hmm. Retake the realm. Isn't the, uh, isn't the, uh, isn't a Dutch, like, the tallest people in the world, actually? You're 196? Holy shit, so you're gonna hit your head everywhere. But yeah, isn't the Dutch known to be, like, the tallest people in the world? No, we don't call our allies. I said no. Let's see. 
Yeah, this guy still has the Armor of Destiny, Mouseless Moon Pride, and Talisman of Preservation. Three of the freaking best items in the game. They did nerf uh, Wind Loss, though, quite a bit, but it's still such a freaking good weapon. Like, it's basically 100 armor piercing still. And you fools are tall, 175. It's only 5 less to me, then. It's not even that. Dutch are allegedly tall. <laughs> Oh, they have mortars too. Three of them. Five, five feet nine. It's normal ever style. It's it's five feet nine hundred and seventy five. Five feet nine. Oh yeah, it is almost exactly two. It's one point seven two six centimeters. Doesn't usually translate that well. I have so many runes. Vanguard, you know what? Um, let's give Thorbrim Vanguard. Uh, what do we have here? Speed, slow, slow thing? He's gonna get the a hammer. Actually, a hammer could have the aura. Instead. Uh, or I give the hammer as perfect vigor. I'm again give you the or the other auras instead. I could probably make it easier. I don't know if we should take it in a blow. Three explosions too. Because we could just get this guy out of the way, right? I think. I declare war on them. We could just attack him here. And we don't have to deal with him at least. They have no magic though, so that's good. I guess we could get rid of that dude. And then we deal with him with Belagar afterwards. Yeah. Skaven is always uh, nasty. We actually have a good out resolve here. Wonder if we should do it. We haven't fought anything in a while though. My artillery is definitely dying here. We fight it though. You guys should not be dying, right? This is so cool that they added this. How does this even work? Like, I haven't really played with Belagar since they added that perk to him. So it gives 20 missile block chance to the whole Lord's army, right? But guys who doesn't even... Like, these guys don't even have shields, right? Do they? They count as shielded. Do bugmans normally have... I don't know. I don't think bugmans are shielded, right? Oh yeah, wait, they actually are. Bugmans are actually shielded. I didn't think bugmans were shielded. Hmm. You must really love this game. <laughs> if you consider fighting, yeah, I guess so. Wipe out the trespasses. I just want to burn rats. To be fair, I just want to burn rats. We mark another grudge. Yeah, let's. Uh, I also want to see how the AI does with my secondary army. So this should be fine. But I also want to see how they play with my secondary army. Everything here is immortal. And I don't care if we anything dies here, really. 
But I want to see how they control my army. Like, they can't do anything bad to it, I think. So I just want to see how we actually do here. If we take a Pyrrhic here, I probably would too. But I have some sciencing to do. I would much rather prefer to be any other city, but I think this is a lower risk fight and I'm going to win it with my main stack anyway. <laughs> no, they can. They surely can. They're coming in there. Mm, which is actually fine because I'm going to attack here. That is a perfectly fine reinforcement. Probably gonna have to destroy that tower though. But we'll start with the tower that we actually want to. Okay. I need to keep at least. I'm probably both of you back here to deal with summons. Are coming with me. Almost got to buff my Runesmith. Almost. Nobody is getting left behind this time. Good. You'll eat the tower. You'll destroy the tower. You will defend the artillery. Oh crap. Where do they have the... Oh fuck, they actually have a poison wind right there. Hmm. I didn't think they would have a poison wind that close. But it's also good because we can reach them with our... We could reach them with our... Um, our gnome boy some. I saw a summon somewhere. On the hammers. Nothing dead yet. Soon. Oh fuck, I forgot my choppers again. Rattling guns. Shit. I just didn't get over that. Come on. Rattling guns ruined it for me. Any more rattling guns here? No. Yeah, you actually rallied, but they did camp that tower, so let's get you back here. Okay, that's all we need though. I need just needed them to scare their freaking poison winds to where I could reach them. That's all we needed really. Right, right, right. 
summons. Oh, they're already coming in there. I haven't even capped this yet. I'm afraid they're gonna explode those guys, but they actually haven't yet. Good enough. Combination. Did you guys not have defensive, or are you just stupid? I guess you're just stupid. The AI is using some really weird attacking, at least. Somebody got a hit on you. Oh, there's a mutant rat over there. I can see that. There. I wonder what they're doing here. Like, I, I like that they're not going in. But at the same time, I'm kind of wondering what they're doing. You're killing my troopers, aren't you? You're just gonna sit there. There's another... Oh, there's a Blake Claw Catapult up there. A Belgar coming in there? It is. Fight! You're gonna kill those guys, aren't you? Because you are not breaking. Blocking my flamers right now. Let's get you in on. Yeah, Belgar, you can go in and do whatever, kind of. Wait, didn't that thing die? Okay, stop knocking him over. Hell are, oh, you chased that thing up there? Let's go up the map. Okay. What it what why are you sitting outside? Belkar is in here mushing him about at least. For the counters on call! Night runners. Oh, 
Dead. Are you actually killing that Gorge Shore? No, you're not. Oh, you're using the freaking ladders the AI put up? Oh no! You're using the freaking ladders the AI put up. Why aren't you attacking? Like you have green. Are you completely bugged out? to actually deal with these guys so. God, this come came so jumbled now. Well, there's a freaking rat thing going up there. guys are starting to kind of die off a little bit. He hasn't killed the last chopper yet. Hasn't killed the last chopper yet. This is so weird still, what they're doing up here. There's our mosses. Okay, our armor didn't took too much. Our choppers definitely got hurt. How much did Belgar fuck up our under army then? That is the question. Did he kill both my choppers? In that army? Also, did we actually steal one of the good items here? Three good items, two chances. I would like... The Mouse's Moon Pride. I don't think the Talisman. Armor's still fine too, I guess. We did steal the Talisman. Hell yeah. Yeah, he killed he killed one chopper. Okay. You level up too. Okay, so that's cool. We actually did steal the talisman of preservation. Uh, we will take it. Stolen from the enemy. Got an archivist. Another archivist. Lund's heir. Our ancestors would be proud.
true king, Grudge Bearer. Mm, Age of Conquest, ten percent moment, the links cheaper. Orphan home. Ready. Very well. I will do as you ask. You have my hammer. I don't think it does actually do anything right. Oh, why am I not able to switch back now? Fine, I guess. On my way. Send me to vengeance. Okay, let's go through our dudes. You guys are done. Our new dudes do not have them. Yes. An accord bound by runic law. That should give us, yeah, 404, not found. Sacred duty. This is big. Nine turns for Royal Guard. It's hammer time. time. Ugman, Slayers, Public Order. Okay, I am gonna build this and this just to increase the value of trading <laughs> to war. let's give you some health too your finest you are yeah you guys don't need to level up normally let's see how much we get for nagashisa right now because i don't care if i actually own that one own that place Seventy-nine. Yeah, okay. We can definitely trade everything we want, I think. So, let's take... Well, what is it? Do not squander Desolation of time. Nagash. And, look, oh, damn it, I forgot to... And the settlement I want. Desolation of Nagash. Damn it, again. Desolation of Nagash for Black Arrow Mine, right? Yeah, Black Arrow Mine. I'll take Observe your money too. My skill. Okay. Then I want Kark Azul. I wonder if I can buy Sump Pit from him later. I guess we could trade the Dragon Kuras, right? The Lumber for him. Actually, that takes three turns. We'll just build that. And what can I trade right now? Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna do what I think I wanted to. I'm gonna trade Cookie Crown Fort to, to him. Yeah, we'll trade these two. We'll switch them out for these. How much do we get for Nagashisa right now? Well, Since now it? you're only you missing one province. 94. Yep. How much do we get for Dragon Kuras? It has a trade thingy. That's only 21. And how much do you want for... For this? Oh, I can buy it almost? 2.8? That's worth nothing to you? What about Sumpit? 23. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Mm, public order and money we have there. I don't even need to trade Nagashiso to him if I don't want to. Yes. I think. 
You just give him Crooked Fang Forks. Yeah, okay, so we got the uh, the mines here, we got the salt, we got the unique building at some Monster point. Attacking. But we're gonna take a while since it's early. Let's get the wall there too. Okay, so that region is done. Money. Anything else I need to do? I don't need to build that since we're trading it anyway. Yeah. What if I should trade this now? For Dragon Cross. Yeah, let's trade it for Dragon Cross right now. This chance to look upon your better. Um, Dragon Cross. Or Darka Soul. Like, you only have one money. I'm gonna give them military alliance too. Why not? Behold my courage. And then we just have some put back off the that. I bring Azurian. Some bit crooked fang fort. Yeah, we could keep this for later on if we actually need to trade something else, right? We can keep this for now. We got a wall and everything from it, so I'm okay with it. True king of eight peaks. I, I agree. On my way. I suppose so. Lord of Clan Morglim. You get that other talisman of preservation rights. Yeah. Good, good, good. Very well. That is your engineer, right? You summoned me. What needs to be done? I wonder where we're, we're gonna, like, meet the most resistance. I am the High King. Are you declaring war on me? No, you want trades. I'm gonna go down and probably kill you anyway, so no. Bloody hands is pretty much as strong as we are. Oh, finally, supervisor. Lord of the Angron. Seeking vengeance. Very well. The High King moves. Okay, um, I think Infused we're taking some pit from you then. Some pit for Crooked Fang Fort. I actually want to do that right away. And I'll take all this your money. Perfect. Okay, so we have the region secured. That was a pretty good region trade, I think. Yeah, that was a pretty good region trade. So 
see what the hole does, but it's like low tier, so that's probably why it went so smoothly. And then we have this for a hundred. Reichling can be a bit more fun. Yeah, I kind of like the Reichlin campaign because it's so much chaos though, before. But Reichlin is strong because random stuff, right? I don't know how you're into the, like, how actually you're into the mechanic of the game. But they have something they call Faction Potential, and Reichlin probably rolled well. That's most likely what happened. I'm gonna say Reichlin rolled really good potential. Uh, this game, so that's probably what happened here. A binding oath. Because it all depends on how much, how good Ready they roll the their potential. Let me get down this. It's not. Oh, it's it's free now. <laughs> so I actually almost have three buildings here. Well, that's funny. With two Grungies, I have three buildings. I'm gonna keep these guys here because we're gonna upgrade a lot of stuff. Oh, that's still not free though. What is free? 6k. You better already upgraded most of it. What's the normal cost of an engineering? Uh, you can do Demolish GCM yeah, if you want to, but it takes so long to build anything up. Um, normally, I probably wouldn't bother with it, but you, you can, when you have free buildings, you can do Demolish. There's 9.6 on that. Why was the... Why was the landmark so cheap to build? Why was the landmark free here? I want to try and do you have caps enough to continue recruiting? Not really, though. You summoned me. Where's Asmund, by the way? There we are. Okay, you should be able to recruit now. Let's um, actually get some cool stuff for you. Yeah, how many can we hurt? Three? What art is? Anad! Okay, that seems to be done. We need that thing and that thing. Walls are done. This needs growth. Could use more money here. This needs waiting time. This is growing. Yeah, we'll keep that as it is for now. There's a giant slayer, sorry, for when I global them into. I do kind of want giant slayers. How many free do I have? I have four free giant slayers that I can just instant recruit. How long would it take us to global in some giant slayers? Because we have a negative one global. Is that like three turns for the Giant Slayers? It might be like three turns for Giant Slayers still. We have one grudge. It's Clan Scryer. That's our one grudge right now. So we did do this. Yes, currently no war. We have two, but a very far away. 
So it's been a little bit interesting here since we are fighting both Malagor and Scryer. But I think they're too far away so they can't attack us. I would like to kind of figure out how long the distance is between them owning a settlement and us them being able to attack us. Because this is definitely too far. Malagor and Scryer has not even sent an army to us. Oh, we're getting this next turn. Getting even more cash. How much do we get? How much will we get for trade now? Five thousand six hundred from trade right now. Let's see how much we're getting next turn when we get the obsidian into. I lied. What can I do? How is Wasteland Climate for Dwarves? That's bad, right? Or like Chaos Wasteland. Like it would be kind of fun sending a dude up to Satan and getting his perks. Because he's probably one of the nastiest perks in the game. Like Magic Find at like 20% range on artillery. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. What do you want? Join a war? Used to my little Bretoni campaign where I can squeeze much. Where I can squeeze it if I manage to get 6,000 a turn. You could do it two factions team up. What would be interesting? You mean co op? Or just a random two factions? Uh, okay, we're gonna switch uh, to fights. Like, what would be the best team up? I don't know if I ever thought about that, to be honest. Okay, let's uh, get our stuff in order there, at least. Mm. Should maybe do recruitment commandments. Oh yeah, let's see if the walls are free. I just want to see if the walls are free with these heroes here. I'll build walls for free. 2,800. No, they're not even close to being free. 1800? What's the difference between these now, actually? Oh wait, that's actually a pretty good upgrade. What? Dwarf's actually got a good wall upgrade? One grudge or one quarreler, two dwarf warriors. Wait, that's a good... Uh, that's actually a good wall upgrade? Like, usually it's just one unit. Nice synergy with sisters. Wouldn't it, like, if I would do some synergy, right? You wouldn't want two skirmish armies, right? If you wanted, like, you should have one ambusher army and one, like, into the meat of it, right? Like, something that's fast. If you want to do sisters. So let's say something like corn or slash together with sisters would be stupid nasty. I think slash actually would be a better match. Like really really fast melee heavy damage infantry and then you just come up with uh, all your freaking way watchers and crap and just nuke the shit out of them. That's actually a good upgrade. I have to rethink if I actually want to build this everywhere then. 
So that's plus two Corlors. That's huge, right? Plus two Corlars, plus one Longbeard. Yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, for a co-op campaign, but I was, uh, I was thinking we uh, just talking about a fight. Just a pure, uh, like, fight. Not actually, like, campaign. Twitch finally works. Congratulations. Welcome. Has it been uh, wonky today? Yes. I haven't really updated so in a while, so I don't actually know. Revenge incarnate. Uh, okay, you're going in. Let us I think move. both of these guys are actually going into the main army. Aye, this way looks better for the Karazhan Corps. It's gonna be a little bit weird, but one rag? Yes. Having level one heroes, but I guess Could this army is pretty good anyway. Two Dark Elves, Beastman, Valkyrie. I got the Lost Radar too. Uh, I don't know if you count count as evil. But I guess they're kind of neutralish. Daniel is uh, actually here. He's. I wouldn't count him on the same side. Like this is where I guess he's talking about this area here. Daniel is right. Wait, I'm too low. Like, he's like here or something. He's kind of more on the Empire side of things. And Malice is right around here ish somewhere. No, that's. That is Sigwald. Then Malice is like somewhere here. I can't exactly. I actually, actually haven't played Malice in Warhammer um, 3. But he's somewhere in this redone, and Daniel is just to the right of him. You're a threat to the Karazhan Corps. Hi, Elven Archmage. I wield the winds. I wield the winds. I do not need this here, but I don't know if I need to build anything else there. What does this do? Cheap Iron Breakers, Recruit Rank. Is this only for this area? The plus three ranks. Don't even have Iron Breakers here. Yeah, Imrik is doing super well. But I also think, like I said before today, that he rolled well on his faction potential. I I think he's Magic probably rank two, right? Yeah, he's still rank two. So Who's lovely. actually do I know rank one? I do. It's is the it freaking right? empire. It, the celestial. it looks That's like kind of order tied this campaign now that I think about it. So Kislev is also doing well for once. Sarina. Looks very order tidy. Chaos Tide? I have a cha I had Chaos Tide last campaign. Uh like basically he they wiped out Riotland before I even came there. With uh, when it